Hey everybody, welcome to module 6. In this module, you will learn how to write your elevator speech. So let's dive right in and listen to our expert. How to write your elevator speech for your USP. Say you meet someone in the hallway of a business conference and they ask you what you do. What will you say? Everyone needs to have a one-minute speech prepared that explains exactly what their business is all about and why people should even listen to them. Here are the main steps to creating your elevator speech. Number one, outline your USP. What are the key points of your unique selling proposition? What's different about you compared to your competitors? Write these down in a simple bullet point format. Then cut out irrelevant words and explanations. Pair your USP down to the bare minimum the most basic essence of what you are offering to people. Number two, write your problem solution statement. Now put your USP description into one sentence. It helps to put it in the terms of a solution, since this is the most important part of anything you are selling. It's why people buy. For example, I provide ready-made solutions for people that don't have time to write or just hate it. This doesn't tell someone exactly what you do, but it intrigues them to want to learn more. Number three, Write your features benefit statement now. Write another sentence that explains the key points of how you deliver that solution. Your statement should be a very brief summary of the key features and benefits of what you are selling. For example, by writing the article for them, I free up their time to focus on other parts of their business. This isn't a sales pitch, which would just turn off someone that you just met in an elevator. It's a summary of why your solution actually works. It shouldn't give a person all the details of your business. Instead, it should create an opening for more questions from the other person. In other words, it's a great way to get a discussion going. Number four, put it all together. And now that you've written the basics of your elevator speech, it's time to put it all together. Practice saying it out loud and add other details to make your speech sound natural. Try it out on someone else and get their feedback and reaction. Make sure to time yourself to make sure your little speech doesn't take more than about a minute. Finally, take the time to revise and revisit your elevator speech frequently, especially as your own business changes. Creating your own individual elevator speech is far more important than most people realize. You never know when you will meet someone that can be a help in your business or who is a potential customer. This is the one-liner you can use with friends who have no idea what you do or with business colleagues you meet at a conference in the elevator. It is your ticket to opening the door to a potential relationship.